What is going on guys, welcome to another Nation of Expert Gaming videos. Today I've got for you about a full 50k Brazilian squad and we're going to go through the team right about now. So as you can see there we've got in there, we've got Inform Diego Alves, costing around about 80k I believe. Marcelo, I believe, I'm, I'm going on rough estimates of about 10, if, if maybe a little bit lower. Um, Thiago Silva there with 25 I believe when I brought him. Di uh, David Luis, sorry, uh, about 5 again. Uh, Danny Alves, I uh, forgot his name there, 45, Luis Gustavo about 1 or 2, same with Diego, uh, Willian we've got for about about 15, I'd go 15 to 20, something around about there, Hulk I'd say about 10 again, Diego Costa, depending on his price range to be honest, he's been like 9 and then he's been like 3, so I think I got him for about 3, and then Neymar, the star of the show, I believe I got him for about 200 and something, I want to say like two, 209, but then I want to say 250, so uh, I really can't remember what I got him for. So this team was literally just for me to play with Neymar, and that was the first goal he scored for me. I when I when I scored that I was like, it's gonna be a very good squad, and it to be honest it did not lie. The squad was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed the squad. Um, the Brazilians are actually really good players. Um, a bit of lag there. Um, I I really wanted to get Bernard to be honest, but Diego was the one that I wanted to actually. Um, go with because I've heard that he's an absolute tank so I thought why not go go with uh, Diego and see what he's like and to be honest he was actually really good um, it seems to be a bit laggy so I don't know if it's going to be laggy for the render or it's my voice is just going to go straight through it Neymar again there again his hat trick for that match um, very first match he scores a hat trick I was over the moon with him about 200 and something K and to be honest he was actually quite worth it he has such a good shot he may not be the most powerful uh, he might not have the most powerful shot in the world but when he shoots, he's got finesse, he's got flair, and to be honest, it goes in. That's all that I care about. You saw from the first shot, it it's not going to be powerful. So it's it's one of the ones you just have to finesse. You have to go and get that that lucky shot. Diego Costa, by on the, uh, on the other end, he has got power. He is an absolute tank of this game. And to be honest, in real life, I've I've watched a few matches from Atletico Madrid, and he actually is really good. Um, I can see where people are getting their kind of like um, opinions about him and look at this chip that is just gorgeous chip right there and you can't really complain with stuff like that a striking force of Diego Costa OP and Neymar is actually really good um, and it looks like um, my voice might be a little bit below uh, behind the kind of recording for some reason I think it might be just lag uh, of the of the computer but it seems to be getting back to normal now um, just a bit of lag here we go again Luis Gustavo going for that first attempt a uh, little fake shot inside and then powers it in. Luis Gustavo was one of my favourite centre defensive mids in FIFA, uh, FIFA 13, that is. And to be honest, he is actually really good. This is the first time that I've actually used him here. And never pass when Diego Costa is lurking in the box. You don't pass across your goal anyway, but when D Diego Costa and Neymar are strikers, you do not pass across your box there. Son, you need to get, get schooled, I think. And David Luis there with the final goal. So hopefully you have enjoyed the video. If you want to go and make it, uh, go back to the start of the video and watch the uh, the whole team. And yeah, so hopefully enjoy the video. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you all again next time.